All right, everybody, do you smell that? It sounds like it's another playthrough time. And this time we're playing Super Smash Bros. Brawl, just the subspace emissary. And after playing Smash Ultimate, I kind of wanted to come back to the very first Smash game I played, which was obviously Brawl. Um, I got this game, I think, when I was eight or nine. I forget exactly when, but it was like sometime after it had already come out. And I fell in love with it, like, immediately. And I remember when I first got it, I just, like, kissed the cover of the thing. And also, I'm playing as, I'm gonna play as Kirby. If you don't play as Kirby in the opening cutscene, what even are you? Look at those polys on him. Look at him go. Oh my gosh. But anyway, I got this game when I was, when I was a young, very young, small child. And it was my first one. And oh my gosh, it is so slow. Compared to Ultimate. How do I even play with the Wiimote? Mario, please. Wait, okay, hold on. Okay, now I remember what grab is. I keep thinking it's B. Okay, I really can't lose on the first... Oh, by the way, I, I don't know if you can tell, but I'm playing on Intense. Because uh, I like playing my games on harder difficulty. And just calm down, Mario. Okay, I'm getting near the death range, so I gotta be careful. Maybe if I grab that... Oh, no, he already got it. Ow, stop throwing that! Look at this spammer. Oh, it's so slow and I forgot how to play. Compared to Ultimate, this is so weird. Okay, if he hits me the Smash Stack, I'm dead. Oh, no, please, not now. Oh, I had to be cheap there. Ah, Kirby's moves are so different. I'm dead. <laughs> Look at him taunt on me, oh my gosh. Mario, get out of here. Oh, wow, that actually killed, okay. I gotta get used to Brawl again. I'm just not used to this at all. I remember I kissed the front of the cover of Brawl, and then I just ran into my room and started playing it for hours on end. And I think the first, I think my first battle was actually um, in the Metal Gear Solid stage when I played as Kirby, and it was against Pit, actually. And speaking of Pit, he's right there watching Kirby just beat up Mario, just absolutely destroy him. Get him, Kerbs. There we go. Now Mayro is restored. Now fight again, except something else happens. Look at that. I always love these little cutscenes. And I know Ultimate doesn't have a whole lot. And I guess I'm okay with that because obviously this took the team, I imagine, a lot of time. But the reason why I wanted to play it again is just because... One thing is just nostalgia and two is just because of Ultimate coming out. And all right, Yeah, this is one of the harder segments because obviously I'm playing on Intense. I like playing my games on a harder intensity and... I know already that I'm going to not have fun all <laughs> with some of these segments. I know the Fire Emblem one is just incredibly annoying. Okay, let's see. I think I suck as Peach. I'll go Curbs, Mayro, Zelda, Petch. And this is like the very first thing where you just get a taste of how intense this can be. Because the enemies, their, um, their damage outputs are much higher as long as their launch distance is. They're so much higher. And... Oh my gosh, they just move so fast. I, This isn't even... Like, they can break your shields super fast as well. So... Oh, please, Kirby. Please get back up. Oh, thank goodness. And... Oh, gosh. Did you see that? That did, like, 30 damage. Look at that. That combo would have killed me. Spax, please. No. Uh, uh, Spax, please. That's it. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. Not even DI can save me now. Where's the cloud? There he is. Spack, please. Okay, I gotta get rid of the dark one. Oh, no, 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 curbs, please. No! Ah! Oh. That was the only way I could have got out of that, I think. Okay, that didn't do hardly any knockback. Maybe the regular sparks don't do anything? Okay, gotta really get dark spack. Whew, not doing too bad. No. Tried to sneak up on me. Oh, I didn't even mean to do that. <laughs> Let me just eat that. Oh, that does damage! What the heck? I'm dead here. <laughs> I used the rock to escape death. No. Oh, what? No. Ah. He hit me from the back. Okay, I got Mayro next. Wait, what? I didn't even mean to do that. Was that a pivot? Are there even pivots in Brawl? I never played, like, Brawl competitively. The only ones I've actually, like, tried be doing competitive stuff on was... Oh, here's the last guy. Was, uh, in Smash Ultimate. Nice, we defeated them all. Those get really tough later on. I played like a few months ago just to test it out. 
and see how hard and tense it was to see if I actually wanted to do a playthrough of it. And obviously, I know I'm going to get frustrated with some of these later segments. I think this, I think it relatively, it's relatively easy in the beginning, even on intense mode. Like, even though I died <laughs> a little bit, but it, I know it gets so tough. Like, I died at least four or five times in the Samus segment that comes in later. Anyway, Mario's gonna go after this and gonna get hit by the cannon. That's brought by Wario, if I remember correctly. Oh, I know, a cannon was just, there was just a cannon. PD Prana doesn't even have a cannon, but he just gets hit by a cannonball anyway. Let's go, Curbs. Look at that mouth, like, texture. See that saliva? Oh my gosh. Okay. I remember this being not too difficult. Oh, what? Come on. At least I have three lives anyway, so it's not going to be too hard at all. Maybe I should just go into Rocky form and be cheap. Maybe not. Oh my gosh! That was really close. Oh boy, Curbs. I just used... Wait. No, Kirby! <laughs> okay, I have some more lives. As I'm saying, it's not hard, and I'm just getting just completely destroyed. Also, I, I usually always rescue Zelda, and it's just because I like it. I just like how the I know how like um, when you rescue either one it the story is different but ever since I was I've always been a more fan of Zelda games so I'd always rescue Zelda when I was a kid but I think the very first time I accidentally rescued Peach accidentally rescued oh my gosh yes let us escape now okay this is where Wario comes in there he is he just swoops in out of nowhere with the giant cannon and I, I never really, like, understood this as a kid, like, the whole trophy thing. Because I was like, okay, he's going to shoot Peach. Why does it matter? You can just tap the coin thing on the bottom. But I guess he just, like, runs away quick enough. And I guess it just leaves the person who becomes, like, the statue defenseless. So they need someone else to rescue them. But look, he could just go over there right now and just beat him up. Uh, they just watch. I don't know. I, just <laughs> I mean, yeah, I guess he just jumps, but... Speaking of which, if Kirby can get out of there with the Warp Star, how does Wario get out? Look at how fast that is. How does Wario get out of there? His bike isn't that fast. Besides, they're on a Coliseum in the air. Kirby barely gets out on the Warp Star. Well, not barely gets out, but... Oh, well. Yeah, that's the first stage. I'm going to try and do at least the first two stages. Kirby and Zelda join the team. Now it is time for Pip. Yes, it is time for Pip. Hey, guys, guess what? Palutena is actually in Brawl. There she is. Palutena is in Brawl, guys. I think she was actually, um, before Pit's Final Smash was the... They changed his Final Smash in every every single Smash, and I think about it. In this one, it was Palutena and had the Centurions come in. In 4, it was... Uh, I forget what exactly it was in 4, but I know it now it's the Lightning Chariot. Um, gosh, I can't think of it. And I, I know Dark Pit's also got, like, the... I think his is just like he uses the flintlock rifle or something from Uprising. I wish they made more Kid Icarus games. I know Sakurai worked on Uprising just to bring it back. I forget exactly the reason why, but Uprising is such a good game. If I ever figure out how to play 3DS games on the channel, I am definitely playing Uprising because, ooh, that game is so fun. Even the online. I don't know if anyone's ever played the online of Kid Icarus Uprising, but it is so fun. Okay, if I remember correctly, this segment's also pretty... Actually, I don't even think there's any enemies in this segment. And I was considering doing a no sticker run, but I thought, eh, if I'm playing on intense, why not just have stickers? Because it's already insanely difficult anyway. And yeah, there are no enemies here. <laughs> Alright, Pip. How's it looking out there? You found the halberd? Just kind of going around? Main cannon. Oh my goodness. What a Kirby boss. I never had trouble with main cannon as a Kirby boss, but ooh. It was always just very annoying to fight. But with one Kirby enemy that I love fighting on the Revenge of Meta Knight thing was Heavy Lobster. Ooh. The, it's track 52 in Superstar Ultra. If you go to that, it's Heavy Lobster. I remember that because I played it all the time. Okay, now we got a whole bunch of primids surrounding Pip. And I think this is, uh, do we have to do like a little fighting segment here or do we just go right away? Because I know Mario comes in. Yeah, we do have to do it. Look at how fast they go. No, not even a second and they're already coming after me. Whew. Okay, yeah, this isn't like a fighting segment, but it's like a... They, you don't have the, the little um, little stock of enemy things, but there is... There was just like a short little thing here. 
Okay, looks like two fairs can kill this. And I want the, the move stay on this as well, so. Give me that. Whatever, I don't need it. Uh, okay, so I know in this one, Pip has the, the shield, and he can reflect the boomerang guys and literally kill them in one hit. I believe. I can test it. Okay, this guy always hits me. Ooh, I needed that right away, actually. And his side B is the... Do you guys remember Hayaya? <laughs> when he tries so hard. Ugh, no, 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 no. Yeah, these guys are a problem, but they're not too hard to kill if you hit them in the head. Their weak point is the uh, good old red thing. I remember sometimes they'd also just like end themselves. Okay, I couldn't even see. Come on, Greep. At times they would just accidentally game end themselves just by walking off the screen, which was, ooh, it was a godsend for me. All right, Pip. Is this where Mario finally comes in? Yeah, Mario just lands in the clouds. He's just up in the clouds. Yeah, Mario, you got hit by a cannon. You remember that? You gotta remember who, who you remember who fired that cannon? I don't know either. Look at that. They both are like in understanding. Pip's going to get going up with his idol. All right, I think I want to play as Mario here first because I think Pip is needed later on. For a more important segment, I know there's a segment with Mario and Pit where it's like almost impossible to do with Mario, but if you do like the perfect wall jump, you're able to do it. Okay, a lot of these times, I'm just gonna run past these things because every time I go after them, I always just make mistakes. And I think I died like on this last time. Okay, man, never mind. Okay, let's see. These things are those invincible. Oh, yeah, this is where I died because of how like stupid this is. Look at that, that's so dumb. Oh, I should have played as Pip. That goes so fast and that, that kills me so many times. I should have played as Pip. Oh my gosh. I hate these things. Cause you get the, you get the little wings. Oh. I didn't think Hayao was gonna kill. Ah, uh, no, it's back, please. Please, no, 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 no. Uh. Ah, whatever, whatever, I'm just gonna go away. Just run, just run, just run Pip. We're not intense. We don't have time for this. Get up there, 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 come on! Oh, thank goodness. Just use tilts, just use tilts. Oh, it's like, you just get this feeling of dread that you can die at any second when you play on intense. I don't even know which way I'm going. <laughs> I know there's a segment where you have to go down and, ah! Pip, no. Ugh. There's no directional air dodging, this is an ultimate. Okay, I know there's a secret door coming up here. Just don't die until then. I was so dumb. I don't know why I did that. All right, Mario. He's more, I, I just feel so like non-maneuverable. Like there's no horizontal momentum at all. Run, run, Mario, run. Just get to the, uh, I could die here. If I die here, I think I have to do this whole segment over and I really don't want to die on this early. Oh, please, Spec. No! No, oh, oh, oh. Please! Please! No! The spec is the biggest problem! No! Please, I just need to get past this segment. Just keep juggling, keep juggling. There we go. Okay, I know if I just keep hitting this guy, he'll stop. No, please! No! No, 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 no! Ah! Okay, just go. Just, just go. Okay. No, 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 please. Give me Spack. Spack, I need to get rid of you. Stop flying so high. I can't reach you when you're up there. I'll just ignore Spack for now. He's white, so it's... Uh... <sighs> Literally, the long-range things are the biggest problem. Please get rid of the... I don't want to have items. Items are the worst, actually. I just need to do this. There we go. I know it like instant kills anything. Because the enemy attacks are so strong when you reflect them against like themselves. Oh, they just die. What? It. Ah! Don't die. Don't die. I can reflect this. Let me show. I'm going to show you proof. Never mind. Just die. Oh. Okay. I don't think I can reflect this, guys, though. Right, I'll, just, I'll just use tilts. There we go. I'm, my tilts are high enough. Oh, yes. I'm having so much trouble just on the first thing. Oh, I guess that was safe to go on. I don't know why I think it wasn't safe. I'm just so scared to just be launched and I'll just die, but we're at the golden end anyway.
Oh, there goes Fox. He's heading after the halberd. Whew, okay. That was a rough first episode, and it's only gonna get rougher. But uh, I guess we'll end it here, and we got Mario and Pip. And I guess we're just gonna end it here. Hopefully you'll tune in for the next episode, and we'll see how fast we can clear this. I don't imagine it'll take too many episodes, since subspace is a lot shorter than I thought. But I hope you're excited for the rest of the episodes to come, and I will see you guys later. Thank you for watching.